Welcome back. We are um, back in Mercuria, and it's the start of Chapter 9. But it seems that Mercuria has been abandoned, probably because of that invasion we heard about. Well, let's see if anybody's still around. I know that sound. It's Kale's Vortex. that shift to open just in time. It has to be Cortez. Finally. Hello? Anybody there? That sounds like uh, Father Raul. And there he is. Who's there? It's just me. April, it's good to see you again. We get another diary entry. Sunday morning, back in Stark, back in Newport. Wow, that thing, that Chaos Vortex popped up again. I guess again, because I really hoped our first rendezvous was a dream, nothing but a dream. But hey, apparently not. So not only is it back, it looks like it's chasing me, and it's gotten a hell of a lot bigger. Now, by some incredible stroke of luck, or more likely Cortez, the shift opened up in the nick of time and deposited me here, in the cathedral. Convenient, if a little freaky. And why wait so long to bring me back? Not that I haven't accomplished almost everything I need to accomplish in Arcadia, save for the fourth piece of the stone disc and the second Arcadian dragon's eye jewel. But come on, Cortez could have at least brought me back for a change of underwear at some point. Yeah, she's been wearing the same clothes for days now. And she spent a lot of the time underwater, in salt water. So, dear God, she must smell bad. It seems logical for April to think that Cortez had a hand in bringing her home. However, we uh, know that Cortez is uh, currently indisposed, based on when we lost, last saw him in uh, a cutscene. But April doesn't know that. Well, let's talk to Father Raoul, see what's been going on here in Stark. Father Raoul, where is Cortez? I thought he'd be here. I haven't seen Cortez for a week, and it worries me. He usually stops by once every few days. When did you last see Cortez? It must have been... I think it was last Sunday. Exactly one week today. He's been gone longer than that before, but this time I... What? This time I have a feeling there's something wrong. I don't like that feeling. Is there anything you're not telling me, Father Raoul? I don't know what you, uh... Yes, you do. You're no ordinary priest. You know about Stark and Arcadia, about the balance, and I'm sure you know a lot more about Cortez than you're willing to let on. How did you...? I heard you and Cortez talking last Sunday, and it scares me. And pisses me off to think that you're using me, that you're keeping things from me. I thought for sure that I could trust Cortez, but as it turns out... I can't. I was hoping to confront him with this, but he's not around, and you... You're part of it too, aren't you? April, you have to trust me when I tell you. Sorry, I can't trust anybody anymore. There's so much at stake, and I... I don't know who to trust, Father. Please, tell me what you know. I'm sorry, April. I mean, I'm sorry you don't feel like you can trust anyone anymore, and I'm sorry that I don't know more than I do. But I will try to answer your questions honestly and openly as much as I can. Okay, well, let's see if he knows who Cortez is for real. Who is Cortez? What do you mean? The way people react when I mention his name, the fact that he seems to have been alive for a very long time, and that he knows as much as he does. Who is he? 
<laughs> it's funny, but I've been asking that very same question myself many, many times. Who is this man? He's old, yes, and powerful. He has strong magic, but he rarely lets on exactly how strong he is. He prefers to be considered eccentric, crazy even. They are both excellent disguises. That doesn't exactly answer our question. You still haven't answered my question about Cortez. <sighs> That's because I cannot answer. I just don't know. He found me when I first came here. You see, I'm not just a Catholic priest. I'm also a sentinel on Minstrom. You're a Minstrom? Yes. Do you find that strange? A bit. How can you belong to two religions at the same time? Belief in the balance and belief in God are not mutually exclusive. The Sentinel Order was founded on the basis of protecting the balance, not to worship a higher power. As long as our devotion to whatever God we believe in doesn't conflict with our duty to the balance and vice versa, who is to say we can't work in the best interest of both? I guess. I just always thought of the Sentinel as its own faith. It is a faith, but a faith in something less than God, yet more than magic or the laws of nature. The balance was created by someone, was it not? I don't know. Nor do I. But I believe. I have faith. That's enough. What did you mean when you said Cortez found you? One day, he came to visit me here. He knew who I was, that I was a minstrel, and that I was devoted to restoring the balance as well as to my guide. We soon became good friends. He was very worried about the imminent collapse of the balance, yet told me that he was waiting for someone special, someone who might be able to help us. I guess that's April. Me? Yes. He waited for a long time for you to show up, and when you did, it was hard for him trying to convince you that he wasn't crazy. I guess his disguise was too good. I don't know much more than that. Cortez tells me very little. Only that you're the key to the survival of the balance. I can only assume that you're the new guardian? That's what I've been told. Not by Cortez, of course. No. I understand your frustration, but I cannot help you any more than I have. If there's anything, anything at all. Thanks, Father. But you've done enough. It feels like I've done nothing. But God be with you. And the balance, too. How did you become a Sentinel Minstrel? The Sentinel are not numerous and stark. Not yet. Not with a vanguard. The Church of Voltec, keeping a watchful eye and striking down anyone who dares to proclaim their faith in the balance. But the Sentinel are here, and when they find someone who they believe will be sympathetic to their cause, they approach them. That's what happened to me. They asked you to join? No. They told me the truth. I was studying theology at the time, and I found scriptures that challenge conventional wisdoms made me question the validity of my faith. But once I learned the truth about the balance and the guardian and the ongoing war with the vanguard, it became easier to believe in God again because now things made sense. And so, in the end, I chose to become not only a priest, but a minstrel, and I don't regret my decision. Have you ever been to Arcadia? No, I'm not a shifter. I'm stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind. I've been fortunate enough to read most of the scriptures of the balance, and that in itself is a rare privilege for a Starker like me. I don't have any more questions right now. If you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth. Okay, um... I guess we'll continue talking to him in the next video.